Hello, my name is Scott Anger. Welcome to your 17th Blender 2.6 tutorial. And this tutorial is finally going to work with the Blender uh, game engine. So let's open up Blender. And we're just going to click on the world. And now to start the very beginning of everything, we're going to click up here. And we're going to click Blender game. And now we're already in the game engine. I know that seemed a little bit anticlimactic, it wasn't exciting or something, but it's just that easy to do this. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to switch the shading to GS the GLSL shading. Just going to make everything look a little bit better and work better with the game engine. And we're also going to click on this uh, light up here the sun that we call and we're going to click on energy and we're just going to lower it so that it's a little bit no not that dark okay there we go okay so the first thing we want to do we want to add something that we're later going to use as a character so we're going to just add a default cube go into three or whatever i'm just going to drag this up hit control and just I'm going to drag it up too, because I feel like it. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go over here. I want to add a new material. I'm just going to make this blue. All the way blue. Just get rid of those two colors. Okay, there's our dark, dark blue. Okay, I want to increase the intensity a little bit, so it's just a little that much bluer. And I want to. Now I want to click over here. I want to change this physics type in the physics tab to from static to dynamic. It's going to already click this actor. And okay, so now what we have to do is we're going to have to add a light so that we can actually see closer to the thing. I, I prefer to actually make my worlds dark and then make them lighter using light, smaller lights than the sun. And we're just going to pull this up and I'm going to put it somewhere like over here. You can also put another one on the other side of this. Uh, hit and shift D, grab shift Z, and there we go. Our box is lit on all edges. So to show you what they actually did when we added the physics to this box. We can click on, or I mean, I can't, don't even bother with that. Uh, hit zero, we go into camera mode. And we're just going to start the game, and the box says physics. Hit X, escape to get out of that. We're going to click over here in the tabs on the world. I'm going to change our... Oh, I already changed it. Okay, so there we go. That's essentially all we need for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to rotate this on the z-axis. RZ, and I just want to make it so it looks, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, acceptable, kind of. Uh, let's rotate this more on the Z axis. Okay, let's see. There we go. I guess that's the best I'm going to get out of that because of the way I made that material. Anyway. Okay. I think we're ready to go here. Oh, that's my problem. It's not generated. It's supposed to be UV mapped. Okay. That's much better. Alright. So, let's just wrap this up. Hit Control S to save and I'm gonna see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like or share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.